Say I'm grateful for not anything but everything. Every loss I had to take, I took it on the chin. Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. I am Bossy Tasha Simon. If today is your first day tuning in to my vlog, I want to thank you so much for tuning in to my vlog. I hope I make you satisfied. I hope you like what you see. I hope you stay forever. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Okay, guys, so today is Tuesday. We should be having tacos for Taco Tuesday, but my family wants to go to Buffalo Wild Wings. And I think they said you get 10 wings free or something today. So, here we are. Oh. So if y'all not busy, y'all come join me and my family to eat some wings and we gonna have a contest of who can eat the most wings or who can eat the spiciest wings. So, come on, let's go to Buffalo Wild Wings. That's only if y'all not doing nothing. If you're not doing nothing, come go with me. Don't even talk that is bringing heat back to your sleep. Everyone on this earth sleep. So I got on my fight suit glasses because it helped me read better. So I'm starting to carry my glasses everywhere I go. Baby, because I'm 50 and I can't see nothing. But let me tell y'all what kind of wings I'm getting. I'm getting the blazing knockout wings, them the hottest wings they got. And I'm getting uh some sweet barbecue wings. So the thing is for today, you can get 12 wings. And when you download the app, you get 12 free. So let's see what kind of pleasure you get. I'm getting national hot wings. Okay. Are you getting boneless or bone in? Boneless. Boneless. Okay, Shadai, what can you get? Um, blazing knockout and jam and jalapeno. Oh, so you getting too hot? Okay. This. What can you get? What? Chicken. One chicken. Okay. Me and Shadai for the trap. Fold out of Blue Long Island. Why not? I'm on vacation. <laughs> Happy New Year! Cheers! This tastes so good. It is so good. This is a blue long island. And badness. Combination. Yeah. Good enough. On morning side, got no stick in a ride. If I take flicks with the guys, I gotta put emojis over like three faces Cause the face can't see those eyes People I shouldn't be beside When I was an actor, they would go strap for just to sell food on Bieber's side Plenty reasons why I'm this way, my girl, that's just one reason why I seen you around, that's so throw it up, man But you know I'm like six foot two and I write you love, but you love also medium guys I wanna keep you on a beach till 6 a.m. so you see sunrise Seeing you from the stage in the 100s, these must be eagle eyes Pressing against me, think about entry, know you could tell it's a decent size you wanna know the real me, girl, so you wanna see deep inside If Chels has on a Chanel side bag, you don't wanna see him reach inside But we know some demon guys with jealous and evil eyes You know that's how Jesus died, you know that's how Julius Caesar died He's scared Damn, man Don't kill on your job I ate a little I ate a little piece Uh-uh That's too nasty Okay, y'all, so we back We up at a uh, Buffalo Wild Wings and I rate Buffalo, Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, I had the blazing hot. I rate that a 1,000. It was like a, 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 a New Year's Eve bomb blew up in my mouth. My tongue was burning. I had to wipe it out with a napkin. The ice water wasn't making it any better. It was making it worse. Um, my lips was burning. And then I got some uh, sweet wings. I'm going to take them home. So uh, Legend ate one of my wings. Or did she? It did. One of them ate one. Legend Dick. ate one of Desmond ate one of them. Okay, Legend ate shot A's and Desmond ate mass. And Desmond couldn't even hang. He couldn't even he couldn't even swallow the piece he bit. Them y'all y'all go to Buffalo Wild Wings. He it with salt. Y'all put too much sauce on it for him. But if y'all go to Buffalo Wild Wings and you like hot stuff, try the blazing wings. I won't steer you wrong. It will pop your top. It's gonna burn your mouth. You're gonna have to wipe it out with a napkin. And the only thing that helped me, the water didn't was that Long Island. 
that blue long island that's where i really got the burn, uh, hotness out my mouth like but here goes Shade. let her tell you about her wings so i had the blazing hot and i had the jalapeno wings and the jalapeno wings had like a little sweet taste to it but you could taste the jalapeno kind of like the jalapenos that you get from the movie theater that's not so hot the cheap ones uh it was good and them blazing wings oh my god they were so delicious they were so hot my lips is still on fire right now but it, you get your money's worth it was fine what about the contest i won the contest i finished my wings I'm so sorry <laughs> Okay, we still got, uh, I got all my wings to go back home with, and, um, I, I still got three oh, no, of them how to, how to, how to, uh, it wasn't how to Bonero, right? It just was blazing how I won. Mm -hmm. I still got some of Mads and Shade still got some of her. She say she won, but did you really win, though, Shade? I don't I think you won. Yeah, I finished Mads before you, I, I got you two more left. So you did it, because I'm all people that own it. Okay, I guess she right. <laughs> Hold on, y'all, here go let you. Bit a, um, nine out of ten. My um, I had got some of my mama's spicy wings and it was hot. So what kind of wings did you have though? And the, um, I don't know what they were. The blazing hot. And you had uh parmesan. Yeah, garlic parmesan. I had blazing hot. Uh, I had, had Nashville hot. Let me talk. I had Nashville hot and <laughs> garlic. <laughs> can you stop talking to okay. my shoe? What can you have? I had orange chicken and honey barbecue. Boring. Was it good? Yeah, it was good. Uh, what you rate it? Eight out of ten. Okay. Eight out of ten. Okay. And what about that hot wing? It was one out of ten. It was nasty. And then it Legend was hot. Mama, these Can you stop touching my shoe? Okay, well. It was nasty. Okay. Desmond said that that hot wing was nasty. That hot wing was not nasty. It, it was, was full of flavor, nasty. wasn't it? It was so good. I served it. It was so good. It was just hot. It was so hot. It, it burned your lips, your tongue. Like, you better not go there with no cold sores or no no lab bump <laughs> on your tongue, baby. I feel for you. And no our server was the best. She was so polite, so respectful. I wish I had more to tip her than I tipped her, but... She appreciated and I appreciate her. So we guys, we're about to go home, guys, and make us some um, uh, s'mores and uh, and watch a movie. So we'll see y'all at home. Meet us there, don't beat us. I mean, beat us. Y'all know I always say it wrong, right? So beat us there, don't meet us there. I see y'all surely. Y'all be careful out here. Dress safe. Put on y'all seatbelts. And um, don't let nobody steal your joy. Hey, y'all. Welcome back. Y'all already know about the bit, making all that noise. I'm sorry about the noise, but um, I'm back up in this bathroom. When you come up in, when I go up in the bathroom, ain't no telling what I might talk about. But I'm trying to be consistent with the facial thing. I'm starting out with this black soap and washing off the makeup. I still got the makeup from yesterday. I hope y'all like the oil. Um, video with us trying to outdo each other eating them hot wings eating them uh blazing hot hot wings let's talk about it i want to tell y'all but let's talk about like something that happened before years ago so we can't judge nobody for, for their past right and this is the safety zone up in here right so i want to talk to y'all about one time i was dating this dude y'all I ain't even gonna give him no name. I'm gonna give him the name Bad Bugs, right? One day I was dating Bad Bugs. So I was dating this guy. First of all, the first red flag was he was too young for me. Now I should have been asking myself, why would a young man of his age, that's like basically like 10 years younger than me, what do I got to interest him? Okay, y'all, I'm going in with the number seven. This is the cleaning water. So, but I was so thrown back, baby. I was flattered. I was taken back. I thought I was all that in a bag of chips. When really the person that was attracted to me, so you gotta be careful, ladies and men, why people be attracted to you. Other people, first thing, first attraction is what we see. You know what I'm saying? That's why as I always say, first impression is the best impression, right? So, we gotta be careful about, okay, first one, somebody get past the physical, what else could this someone offer you? What could a young man 10 years younger than me offer me? I 
I need to be dating more in my age group, but I be attracted to who really attracted to me. I, I be attracted to older men, younger men, you know, they don't, they don't bother me. I'm really like the type that like attracted to who attracted to me. You know what I'm saying? So I was so happy that this young guy liked it. The young guy had liked me, right? But back in these days, this is about, about 11 years ago. So I started dating this young dude. I'm thinking I'm the ish dating this young nigga. You got to wonder why these young niggas around. You know what I'm saying? Is they around trying to pick your pocketbook? Is they around because they need a place to stay? It it ain't that, that he find you so attractive that he want to date an older lady. You see what I'm saying? Okay, y'all, I'm going this nurturing, this neutralizing uh, cream. It makes my face glow, baby. So, Uh, so he, I'm, I'm thinking a man, thinking I'm a catch 22, baby, all the time. This man ain't got nowhere to go. And ladies in general, we got to be careful with dating people who don't got nowhere to go, who 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 live with their mother. We got to be careful about who, who we date who live with their mother or who just got put out their girlfriend or boyfriend house because this day and age, People in their 1920s got their own house, got their credit together. I know it's, that ain't what we gotta have, because when I was that age, I really didn't have it together either. But I'm just saying, some people come with interior motives of why they're dating you. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna pause this conversation for while uh, you're ready to stay in my face. But like I said, I was blindsided by a young man being interested in me. You get what I'm saying? So. Sometimes y'all, we gotta really take the time out to, and wonder why is this person here? Why are you here? What is it about me? What is it about you? Why are, are we gonna benefit? Are we gonna grow together? Are we looking for the build of future together? Okay, I'm back. Now everybody not coming to uh everybody not coming to date you. Cause they want some of your money or they need a place to stay. But some people look at you as like, oh, she been wearing all these nice outfits. Oh, she uh posting this nice car. They looking at you as a, a meal ticket. And you all over here, I'm all over there single, desperate, don't want to be alone, thinking I'm looking like something cause a young man trying to go with me. I was saying this young man that I'm talking about, he had nowhere to go. He had nowhere to go. So he was looking at me more as, oh, I'm she's smiling all in my face. I'm smiling all in her face. We can start dating. So we start dating. Sometimes people could come in your life and hold you down too, y'all. Could make you fall all the way off. Hold you down like uh some bricks around your leg like somebody got your legs tied down throwing you under the water you steady drowning every chance you get up you get up your head come from above the water a little bit you dating that wrong person that energy come around negative they they ain't got no money so every time you bash the shoes you gotta bat them some shoes every time you bash the clothes you gotta bat them some clothes so sometimes people can make you fall all the way out and and that's what he did for me he made me fall all the way off. Uh, but I'd be lying if I, if I didn't say that, that that he made me feel much younger about myself. After, oh, y'all, I ain't even put y'all up on this. Yesterday, I went up at um, Walgreens, and I got some more than number, number seven. And this right here is menopause instant cooling mist. Skin feels cool and hydrated. So I'm gonna spray this menopause stuff on afterwards. Not sure if I'm going through menopause or not, but I'm right, I'm at the age. I'm very much at the age. So here we go with the eye cream, guys. So like I was saying, I should have got a cotton ball. So like I was saying, I'm so happy to be dating this young man that I'm 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 acting young. I'm acting. Immature, I'm going to parties with him that I got no business even being at. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't got no business even being in these type of environments. Um, I'm, I'm um, trying to, this, man, y'all, this, this, like, 
uh, about 11, about 12, 11, 10, 12 years ago, before I had my own little business. I'm around here, uh, he, he's selling CDs and movies. Now, let me tell y'all how desperate I am. I was. I'm dating somebody who's selling CDs and movies. Now, y'all probably look at me like, you got a lot of nerve to be saying you desperate to date somebody sell CDs and movies. No, in life, you got to have standards. F that bull stuff. You got to have standards. You got to have something that you stand for because if you don't stand for something, you're going to fall for anything like I do all the time, right? So, I'm uh, dating dating this man this man ain't got nothing to offer me so now i'm a, I'm around here feeling so happy to be dating him now i'm his mother figure i just straight went into mama mode um he he probably is around my daughter age a little bit older than my daughter i'm around here in mommy mode first of all i'm probably embarrassing my daughter dating somebody of this age right not only am i probably embarrassing my daughter i'm uh i'm just I'm not performing in my I'm not performing in my highest potential. I'm I'm at like low vibrations. I'm, everything I'm doing is low. Like I'm got myself in places that I shouldn't be in. I need to be in a a more older environment. I, instead of me introducing him to older environments, I'm I'm too busy stalking him, hoping he ain't trying to date nobody younger than me or his age group. That I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to places that that I feel out of place at. Have you ever went somewhere and you felt out of place? Like, I don't even belong here. But you know that Dino had you, or that, or that uh, high popular had you doing stuff, you know, out your character. So, here I am going different places I ain't got no business being, you know, like I had said. Going to bed late at night. You know, not doing, it's nighttime, y'all, so uh, I'm about to use the, the night cream. Going places I ain't got no business, just hanging out, drinking too much, not 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 bringing up my high vibrations, just just doing, drinking all the time, just, just doing stupid stuff, right? So uh, I'm about to hurry up and rush this up. Let's get to why we call him Bed Bugs. So like I told y'all, when I met him, he didn't have nowhere to go. He uh was like probably staying here and there. Wherever he got drunk at, that night he's staying there. So I'm so happy he want to move in with me. All right, y'all, I'm spread the menopause mist. So um, I guess I feel cooler. I'm, I'm, I'm just so happy to even have somebody who want to live with me, shack up with me, but I ain't around here paying no bills, really, really making my life a little worse than what it already is. Because by him not having clothes and stuff, I'm the type like, shoot, my man, my man, my man, my man is never finna be out here representing me looking like a bomb. You get what I'm saying? So now I'm spending detergent money, money that's supposed to be on the light bill, gas money for the car anything on his stuff uh, now i'm informing meals never been informing meals now you got me shopping in stores i ain't used to going in now i'm in here picking up you stuff just just all type of uh just doing stuff that i'm out if that's out my norm you get what i'm saying that so i'm just saying this to say this y'all pick your partner for how you see your fruit. If we we already struggling, why go pick somebody who's who's struggling harder than you? And then now you around here a fucking builder bear, cause now you building up this grown man. You hoping you're not building him for another woman. You hoping you building him up for you, so he can meet meet you up to here where you are. You know what I'm saying? Instead of you stupid down but the person that I was I went down I didn't I didn't bring him up I he he was better by dating me because if somebody said you date Tosh that thing for real you know what I'm saying y'all you, know what I'm talking about ain't got nothing to do with being like a, a got no lot of money up you know what I'm saying your name carry weight you know what I'm saying so instead of me bringing him up here he bring me down so 
When I first met him, he had nowhere to go. So now I'm around him. Now I'm trying to buy him clothes, shoes. When I buy McDonald's, I gotta buy his sandwich. When I buy panties, I gotta buy his drawers. It was just like, it was like a burden dating that young man. But the only thing that was good for me was the sex. You get what I'm saying? So I guess by him being young, it's making me feel young. He's bringing my youth out in that type of area, which he he probably barely wants to even do that. You know what I'm saying? He probably didn't even really. Well, no, nah, he, he did. He did. But probably not. You know what I'm trying to say. Just, I don't know. But let's go back to calling him baby boots. So one day he caught himself spending the night out. And here I goes. Oh, I don't play that. So since you spent the night out, stay there. So now he just spent two, three nights out. His sister had moved up to Chicago from Minnesota. So now he uh they spent the two or three nights over there. You know, they partying all night. You know me, I got to get up and go to birth. Uh, I always gonna keep a job, keep some money coming in, you know. So I gotta get up and go to work. So he wanna party all night. So now he did since his sister moved to town, he don't need me no more. He cocky, cocky, like, baby, baby, if you put me out, I go to my sister crib. Do y'all know this nigga came back some days later, maybe a week later? This nigga got on long sleeve shirts. It's winter time, but like. You know how when you get in the house, your guy have on his tank top or one of his old raggedy old everyday t-shirts, nice and comfortable here in his domain. Now he coming in, we laying around watching TV. Oh, I took him back. Let's not skip that part. So when I took him back, being the dumb lady that I was, he 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 wearing long sleeve shirts all around the house, stuff like that. I'm like, damn, why you always have on these long sleeve shirts? Then I'm catching him itching. Just itch. And you know he had some a bunch of dirty dreads. Like, uh. Like y'all gotta be careful dating people with dreads if they don't be getting washed too. So, bed books. I'm steady asking him, Dad, what's wrong? What's wrong? So man, you I call myself putting this nigga on punishment like didn't want to sleep with the nigga because he's supposed to be out. You see what I'm saying? But by me laying in the same bed with him. Do you know I start itching every day like by my elbows, down here around your waistline. I started itching real bad. My elbows, behind your, behind your knees. Like I was saying, you, you be itching in some weird places. Behind your elbows, behind your knees, in your waistline. I, I, I'm just itching at work now. Itch. Now I'm going through my head is. I hope this nigga ain't came back and gave me no STD. This nigga gave me crabs. I, I'm over here. And now, as days going on, it's leaving little spots on my skin. I'm not used to this. I said, uh-uh, we got to have a talk when I get out of work. So we sitting up, we having a cocktail, you know what I'm saying? We talking. I'm like, something ain't right since you been back. I've been itching, breaking out. I'm thinking the nigga that gave me something uncurable. Now we sitting at the table. He like, I've been itching too. Now, man, you you can't be even uh having that light off in the rooms. Tell about some let's chill, have a nice place to chill night. Nigga, turn the light on and let's chill. We can't do no Teddy, Teddy Pendergrass in here. Turn off the lights and catch bed bugs. No, 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 no. Turn that light on. Turn that light on. Turn that light on. Nigga, you gotta be able to see what these niggas working with. You hear me, sisters? Y'all hear me, grandbabies? I'm here to teach you something. Everybody smiling your face ain't smiling because they want to be with you. They smiling. Some people be smiling because they need somewhere to go. But. Do you want a heated butter what is that? Like, like a dinner roll? Yeah. It's a piece of bread? Yeah, like a morning bread. No. The fried butter. Put some cheese on like you know how you do a cheese sauce? Do you want some? If you do a cheese sauce. Say hey to the grandbabies. Hi. <laughs> okay, y'all, so excuse me about that for a legend interrupting me. She's offering me food. And then you know I'm agreed to eat it. So, that's what I'm saying. And now we sitting at the table, the man that pulled his shirt up, y'all, his sleeves up. Now he'd have been laying in my house about two, three days. 
I wonder why he walked around covered up. He come up out the bathroom, out the shower, almost fully dressed. You know how a person won't get out the shower, they have their towel on their oily body. Rub the deodorant on. You get to see everything, the towel, the towel drop. But I'm, for two or three days, this ain't happening. So now we sit down. He pulled his sleeve up, y'all. If I didn't think that man gave me something uncurable when I said, I said, ah, what's wrong with you? What did you give me? Oh my God, what is it? Look, the same thing on my elbows. Look right here. The next morning I get up, I told my boss, I cannot come to work. I am going to the doctor. I said, and you are going with me. Baby, if I didn't think that man gave me something that be careful, ladies and gentlemen out here. People could be walking around with germs in their clothes. You know how when people be coughing and stuff, it be germs in the air. People literally have bugs in their clothes. Do y'all know? After we went to the doctor, he had bed bugs. We found out he was the bed bug, so he carried it to me. They said it was like eggs. I think they was in his clothing. And then they got in me. Do y'all know they was in my bed? They, they hang out in the edge of the bed. Do y'all know I had thrown away that bed, that bedroom set? I had the people to come out to do this bed book spray stuff, y'all. They put all your stuff in bags, everything. I was going to the lunch room at Washington, call myself drying. They said drown like a real, real, real high heat. It killed them, baby. I don't know what kind of bed books he had. He had super bed books, y'all. I went at my taxes. It was like I told you I was cold as that. So the next couple of months probably was my taxes. At my taxes, I went about a whole new bedroom set. Showing up is boo-boo stank. Now, man, y'all, I put him out. Didn't want to do him no more. I just felt icky. But I made sure he got cured because I took him to the doctor with me and paid for both our medication. He get cured and all that. He begged for me back and things like that. I never took him back. That was in my desperate time. My desperate times come from desperate measures. When you do stuff out of desperado, desperate things come with it. So I hope that you guys learn something from me. I don't have any shame in my game of telling you something that happened in my past. I cannot do nothing about the past, but teach one, each one, teach one. It could be a testimony, and it could be a testimony that could help somebody else. Um, like I said, I got rid of him. I made sure that he got well, I got well. I told y'all I was tax time about a new bedroom set. Do y'all know the bed bugs was in the wood? I had wood, hardwood floors. It was in the wood that it ended up coming in that bedroom set. So mad, you guys, I lost one bed and a brand new bedroom set because of it. So then I had them come back out and treat it again with no furniture in the room. And then when I bought my third bedroom set, y'all, like a third bedroom set in one year. It was it worth it? Like I took a big loser. I took a big L from trying to date somebody that's not living beyond, beyond my means. What is the word I was living beneath my means? It could sound harsh. It could sound however you want to put it. Sometimes we date people because we don't want to be alone. Or you go into mommy mode. You're becoming a nurturer to this man. You, you feel like you could save him. But sometimes people don't want to be saved. They just looking for a handout. Don't want to work for it. Um, count your pocketbook thinking you got more than you got. Um, and then you over here trying to, I'm over here trying to date somebody younger than me. Because I don't want to grow up. Like, grow up. You're not a Toys R Us kid no more. So the lesson in that is, stay in your, stay in your own means. Stay in your own age group. You know, pray about it, you know. But I just shared that little story with y'all because every time I come in the bathroom, we're going to find something to talk about, whether it be my past or talk about what's trending. I see you guys in the living room. Well, I see you guys in the, in the kitchen. Me and Legend is going to make some um, roast marshmallows, make some s'mores, and we often drink our shot of ginger. Me and her going to make some s'mores and some hot chocolate. So if y'all not doing nothing, and then I'm gonna start editing this video. I have to do. I have a finally have a sponsor thanks to Kaylani. Um, I already edited that video, but I just want to go back and put some finishing touches on there. But by the time you see this video, that video will be already out. 
I'm just, I'm just, I'm so grateful for Kay. I've had my first sponsor video. This is, this is like, this is what I, I, I like to do. I kind of living for it. So that's a part of what I'm living for to get sponsored. So thanks again, Kaylani. Thanks you again to Fight Two. And thank you guys for always listening. I love you guys. Uh, I'm just trying to be consistent on doing my facials and other other little things. But I ain't said no um, New Year's resolution. Maybe later on, but not right now. Right now is to just just be happy. Just be happy and be a little bit more consistent. Don't start none and keep. Fin uh, don't start none and don't finish it. So let's go, y'all. If y'all don't mind coming to drink a little hot chocolate, then let's go grow some s'mores. Come on. Don't worry about them being around no kids. It's good to be around kids. They help you stay young. Come on, let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, guys. Welcome back. I made it to the kitchen. And, um... Me and Legend are ready to roast these s'mores and we're gonna make some hot chocolate. Legend, did you ever get the chocolate at the end? It's in this candy. I'm gonna get some some of that fudge. I wanna put it around my uh, around the sides of, of all the insides of my cup. So let me show you me and Legend's setup, y'all. We tried to make a little setup with it. Here we go. Things I used to do, the games I used to play, the girls I didn't last. I know what's on your mind. You think I'm doing wrong? And that's so, so okay, guys. Um, I showed y'all a little setup. Let me show y'all the cups that we made for New Year's. My uh camera was uh dead when I was talking to y'all, trying to as we was making the cups, as we was making the glasses. I'm sorry, guys. So I got the, the glasses at the Dollar Tree glue and the little decoration just for us to do something for family day so i put man I got that white residue look because i had put the you know the regular children elmer's glue instead of the clear glue and then i rubbed it around with these glitter things and i put some flowers at the bottom and this is who's is this this desmond's right yeah this this desmond y'all he put his name on the back and he put Happy New Year. He had a little red ball in there, so I took it out. And this is Sade Cup. She made. She made this for the New Year. We made little homemade glasses, but like I told y'all, my camera dad. And then this is Legends. She got her dad's initials and. Well, okay, y'all, let's get started. I just want to pick up where we left off at last. And let's go! Me talking crazy, I need you all in my space. But I need it, baby, I'm late, but I still can't check in with you. I'd put a string of pearls right in your hand. Make love on the beach of... Okay, y'all, so I just got up out the uh, shower. I just ran took a little quick shower while I was waiting on the hot chocolate to cool off because I don't want man's hot. I'm going to try to put man's in my glass I made. So me, my grandson, and my granddaughter, we're about to take our ginger shots. So here we go. Come on, what? Shots, shots. Oh, man, look real strong. Why are you putting me playing so much? All right, y'all, let's make a toast to all the grandbabies that's listening. I mean, watching. I got Cheer. more than y'all. No, you don't? I think I take the most. Cheers to the grandbabies. One, two, three. Oh. I don't hear y'all glasses clicking. One, two, three. Yo. Go. Now what? Now you did. I want. Yeah. The champ is here. Oh, I won. Desmond said he won. I Who won? won? Me. Who won? Did Me. I win or did Desmond win? Me. Okay. Betty, Betty, shot a clock. <laughs> Betty, Betty, shot a clock. Legend always be last. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> okay, y'all. So we finna roast these marshmallows as soon as that's finished. Yeah, legend is finished. Okay, guys. So we finna roast these. Okay, let me show y'all about my hot chocolate first of all. This. So okay, now I got my eyes. I got them my nice little cup. Bring it up. I can't even see. Can you see it? No, you got it. You gotta down. Bend it down a little bit. Okay, y'all. Then I'm about to put a peppermint in my ass. Let me see how it tastes in my glass I made. They don't got enough chocolate. So I'm about to make it. They don't got enough chocolate. Flavor. That's why I put sugar in it. That's why you put sugar in yours? Yes. So let's quit moving the camera like that. Okay, so. It's giving weak, but it's okay. Okay, y'all, so. Let me show y'all these little sticks I had got out the Dollar Tree. I usually get wood sticks, but I got. I got these little fork like colorful sticks. Legend, she ready now. Go ahead, Legend. Make love on the beach of jet black sand Outside in the rain We can do it all night I'll touch all the places he would not Some he never knew would get you high Nothing is forbidden This can't come out too good because my thing melted One of my marshmallows I threw away was too burnt And now I got this marshmallow I'm gonna put it on here on this cinnamon graham cracker from Fresh uh Great Value. You think that fall like fire? I huh, legend. I got my piece of Hershey chocolate. Okay, legend still roasting hers, and I ain't got all day, and I ain't got all night, and I ain't got all week to be roasting no marshmallows. So here's mine. My chocolate. Grandma, my side is not roasting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's just looking real good, man. Look. Real crazy. That was so scary. That's just so scary, y'all. She ran all the way over here. Cause the marshmallow caught on fast. But this tastes good, y'all. It's a nice little treat. Go sit down and watch some movies. But now y'all. Man, y'all would not understand this moment right here. This moment right here is huge. Being able to take my family to get pedicures is amazing. Coming from poverty from which I came from. Struggling at my grandkids' age just to eat. Everyone would love to be in a position to prevent their family from struggling or even going through the heartache and the pain that they endured. So when y'all see me clapping for the smallest things, just know that I am happy. And a word to you coming from me. That's right, coming from me. Giving up is not an option. And every day, Let's give God the glory. Oh, and I almost forgot. I'm making ginger and turmeric shots just to stay healthy. We got to be healthy, y'all, because our blessings is on the way. So don't forget, make it shot o'clock. Welcome back to the vlog. As y'all can see, I'm back in Chicago. And I'm excited, y'all. Let me show y'all why I'm so excited. I just bought me a new TV. For the new year, happy new year to me. Look what I bought, y'all. That boy is a. That's why I keep saying, y'all, we ain't sweating the small stuff. Cause it's so much greatness coming. So 
If you got a little TV today, I'm here to encourage you. That's just for right now. So be grateful for y'all right now because greater coming later. So don't give up. I'm going to show y'all how to look once it get put up. Black girl, you black girl, you black girl, you black girl. Oh my, 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 oh my